the way the movement starts, I find it absolutely delightful. There's this sort of little whispering phrase, and then we soon realize that it is the very few seconds before the sun comes up in the morning. So it's whispers and and then the first rays of the sun and then the full glory. And then the Allegro starts, okay. Now it's light, the day has begun. Okay, let's get on with it. This is an absolutely fantastic piece of music, and I, I'm really, fasc I'm really fascinated by this period of his production, because what's happening is that Young Haydn is making up the symphonic form as he goes along, and what we now understand as a symphony, you know, the four movements construction with uh, a main movement and uh, a slow movement and a scherzo and a finale. This was just one possibility among many. So he kind of st starts from where his predecessors had ended, the sons of Johann Sebastian Bach, for instance, and and he takes some of the Baroque forms, um, Concerto Grosso, and so on, and starts playing with the idea of a large-scale instrumental piece that uh, has to be called something. Okay, let's call it the symphony. Well, Haydn's orchestra was one of the first full-time symphony orchestras um, that was not an opera orchestra, uh, primarily. And he was the newly appointed Kapellmeister um, by Count Esterhazy, who was a great music lover. And he had a concert hall in his castle and he, he had a little orchestra for Haydn. And Haydn was able to, to hire very good, accomplished high-level instrumentalists for his orchestra. And these early symphonies of his show off his players, the quality of what they can do. Haydn is a very misunderstood composer. Generally people think when you haven't heard a lot of his music, you think that this is sort of jovial, um, slightly boring, uh, uh, sort of a bourgeois composer who who wrote endless symphonies and endless operas, endless this and that, and, and, and nothing could be further from the truth, apart from the fact that he, he, he wrote lots of symphonies and lots of operas. But, but his music is so full of invention, so wild, so original and yes uh, there's a lot of humor in it uh, but there are, there are also some deeply expressive tragic profound moments and then there are some wild moments and then there are some incredibly tender moments and it's just a very rich kind of expression um, and in terms of the form and and the way he develops the the idea of orchestral music. He's more important than Mozart. And Mozart, of course, a wonderful composer in every way, in, in every way imaginable. But, but Haydn, in terms of the development of the art form and the symphony orchestra and the idea of a symphony, is more important than almost anybody else. And the only other person who comes close is Beethoven in terms of where the symphony went. And I would say everybody 
who has written symphonies or has written for symphony orchestras, anything after those two gentlemen is indebted to them in some way. If you'd like to discover more about this piece and the rest of the orchestra, why not try our iPad app, The Orchestra, featuring Essa Pekka Salonen and the Philharmonia Orchestra. Fully interactive video playback lets you view the orchestra from all angles, and the revolutionary beat map shows you who is playing when. Follow along with synchronized scores, hear the inside scoop in audio commentaries, and get a 360 degree view of all the instruments. Available for download in the App Store on iTunes.